Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, aka Lux and Glam on the gram. Um, if you don't follow me there, you need to. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Go search for at Lux and Glam. Follow me because I'm more active there than I am here on YouTube. I know, really sad, right? For today's look, I did this blue smoky eye on Instagram Live yesterday and I was posting it on Snapchat, whatever, blah blah blah. And everyone was like, did you film this look? Did you film this look? Did you film this look? Did you film it? Did you film it? So today I woke up, I'm like, let me just film this really blue smoky eye. And I did it and I am obsessed with this blue. It's the best blue I own in the entire world of blues. Just a couple of new products. I'm also going to be giving you guys my updated foundation routine. I figured that I would give you guys a little review of the blue that I used. It's one of the new Makeup Forever Star Lip Powders and I'm absolutely in love. It's so vibrant. I've never had such a vibrant blue like this. This didn't even require a white base and it popped. Just so beautiful. It's like the perfect cobalt blue. But I, I mean, I did use a blue base on the, like, under this, but I think that this by itself would look amazing. This is also in the shade number 19 and it's 1.7 grams, net worth 0 0.05 ounces. I believe this was $24. I can be wrong. I will link everything that I used in this video below. But you just open this guy up. It's a really tiny container, but there's a lot of product in there. You just open it up and it has this little dispenser. Not sure if you can see that, but all the product comes out from here. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to tap it out into the container, but I just dip my brush into it and just apply it to my eyelids. It's not matte, there is some shimmer in there or it might be from the brush that I'm using that has shimmer in it. But yeah, I'm obsessed. And I think you're gonna be obsessed too once you buy it. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I'm trying to get my subscribers up to 1,000 so then I can do another giveaway because I have a lot of giveaways planned for this year. I'm planning on vlogging, but I don't know if I should. It depends on the feedback I get from you guys. So if you think I should start vlogging my daily life or maybe just vlog once a week, just leave it in the comments below. Hey guys, so the first step to my foundation routine is to add some primer. And I'm using the Benefit Professional in my porous areas to smooth them out. And then I'm going in with the First Aid Beauty Coconut Smoothie Primer, which adds more hydration to my face. Over here pretending to be sad, so I'm gonna go in with my Krylong color correcting wheel. I'm taking the greens and popping them onto the places where I'm usually red because red and green cancel each other out. Now I'm taking some orange and I'm gonna be canceling out the purples under my eyes, which you can't really see on camera, and then some on my lap lines. I'm blending some out with my fingers and then going in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Make it damp and just tap it over the areas that you applied any of the color correcting concealers. Now I'm going to add some actual concealer that's really close to my skin tone to blend out the colors. So whenever you put your foundation on it doesn't look really weird and colorful, you know? The concealer that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me in the color medium. After blending out that concealer, I am going in with my favorite foundation in the entire world, the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the shade 118. I usually take two to three pumps of it, and then I will grab some on my beauty blender and dot it all over my face. And after that, I blend it out so then I can see how the coverage is. If I need more, then I will go in with another layer. After blending for 20 hours, I then go in with some MAC Fix Plus and I just spray my face with it, let it soak up and set. I feel like this makes my face look even more glowy and dewy than usual. Now I'm going to add some brightness to my face with the Stila Concealer in the shade Light. I got this from Nordstrom Rack for I believe $7.99 it's the most creamiest and brightest concealer and I am obsessed. Next, I am taking my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge again, and I'm taking the other side to blend out the concealer. I learned this trick from Mac Daddy, and 
I also noticed how my conce my concealer and foundation just look more blended out and more natural than as if, if I would use the other side of the sponge, if that makes any sense. To bake everywhere that we concealed and highlighted and brightened up, you know the shebang, I'm taking my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana, putting that under my eyes, my laugh lines, and I'm putting it on the corners of my nose, and you will see why shortly. Set my entire face. I would normally use my Makeup Forever foundation powder, but mine broke, RIP, so I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro in the shade Sateen 5. I probably botched that word, but whatever. Everyone's been raving about this powder, and I actually really do like it. Now look at me holding my compact upside down. I would do such a thing. I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Natural Bronzer, and I'm contouring with that rather than a cool toned bronzer, because I feel like cool tone makes my face look super muddy, so I switched over to a more warm tone with some earthy undertones. Now I'm going to show you guys how to snatch your nose the way I do it, if you're curious. So I like to take my contouring powder, bronzer, whatever you're going to use, put that on the corners of my nose, corners, the sides of my nose, and then blend it out as vigorously as possible. And I remember when I told you guys previously in another clip of, you should see shortly, what I'm going to be doing with the Ben Nye Banana Powder, Put that on the sides of your nose and down your nose bridge and your nose will look like you just came out of a rhinoplasty surgery. I basically just saved you guys $7,000 for anesthesia and your nose job. Painful nose job with lots of bruising at the end. For some bronzy glow, I'm taking my Pure Cosmetics Mineral Glow. I'm going to add some color to my face. I'm using the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. If you have not smelled this, you guys, it smells like peach rings candy and I want to eat it every single time. I smother this all over my face. Just a quick warning to you, you're going to be blinded with the next few clips coming up. Pause this video. Go on Nordstrom.com or JouetCosmetics.com. Put Citrine Highlighter in your basket. Check out and you're good to go. Adding Fix Plus to your highlighter is optional. If you just want to intensify the highlighter or just look even more glowy, then you can do so. Once I'm done with my face, I go back in with some Fix Plus to set it all over again. On to the eyes we go, on to the eyes we go. Let's get into this blue smoky eye. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I prepped my eyes with some MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and then I set it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette in the shade Tempera. For my crease, I went in with the Anastasia Eyeshadow in the shade Fawn. For some extra warmth in my crease, I went in with Sienna. Now I'm taking Star Cobalt again from Anastasia, and I'm using this with Fix Plus because it helps pop out the metals and makes it more intense. I felt like I was lacking color, so I went in with Deep Brown again from Anastasia and just added that to my outer corners and then blended it out nicely so it can look pretty and soft. And now, the star of the show. Pop out the blue even more, I'm taking a Star Lip Powder from Makeup Forever in the shade number 19. I'm packing that onto my lid and then I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and blending everything out. I would also recommend that you use a clean blending brush so that way you won't have different colors adding onto your crease area and then it'll just look really muddy so a clean brush is always a good choice. To finish up my eyes, I went in with a pair of Huda Beauty Lashes in the style Samantha. These are so fluffy and so pretty. For my lips, I used a combination of the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks in the shade Truffle and then I went in with some sand. And that's the end of this makeup look. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!